What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now today we are back with another daily market update. Today you're going to hear a lot about HBAR. Okay, we have like a massive section of this video consisting of some amazing things for HBAR. Just extreme bullishness, okay? Then we're gonna see uh, some XRP stuff, some sandbox metaverse news, which is massive right now. Uh, the, the news coming out about it is massive. Uh, we're gonna cover that. We're also gonna cover Bitcoin and the altcoins, man. We saw some interesting action on Bitcoin um, and we will get into that. Before we do, make sure you are following my Twitter. Once we hit 100K, we will do a massive crypto giveaway or maybe an NFT. Maybe I'll give an, give an NFT away. Also, make sure you're watching NFT Mason if you're into the NFT game. Just posted a video yesterday. Most hyped NFTs, uh, most hyped NFTs, NFT gains are being made. So moving on to the market here, we're at 1.79 trillion. Some upwards movement, uh, some upward movement. Finally, Bitcoin is above 39k. Like we're above 40k right here, which is good. Ethereum needs to get above 3,000 here. That's what I want to see from Ethereum. Um, yesterday, I actually consolidated a ton of random stuff I had everywhere in my MetaMask. I had BNB randomly. I had Songbird. I had a bunch of different stuff. Polygon, Avalanche, and I sold all of it to Ethereum yesterday at 2,500, and I'm already up 5% there reason I did that was just to clean up. Sometimes with crypto, you can have this breathing movement where you like, you know, breathe, like something's breathing, like you expand, you get so many coins in so many different places. And sometimes you just have to like come back into the middle and consolidate. I know a, a bunch of you are feeling that what I just said right there. You're like, oh, dude, it's so messy, right? But BTC 40K, we love to see that. XRP is climbing back towards 80 cents. Terra Luna climbing back towards 100 bucks. Uh, Solana, $84. You know, standard stuff here. Shiba Inu still doing absolutely uh, trash, right? Basically. Um, but let's look at the Bitcoin chart here. Look what happened. Like if we go in the one hour, watch what happened yesterday. We had this weirdo pump all the way from 40 to $41,000 in an hour, okay? If we change this to 30 minutes, you'll see that it was basically in an hour, we went from, um, let's see, 39,000 to 41,000. So surprise jump. And then we fully retraced right back down to where we came from, right? And I saw a funny tweet. Somebody said, if you guys fully retrace this move while I go to sleep, um, I'm going to be very mad. And that is exactly what happened, probably even before he went to sleep, uh, because this happened in like a couple hours. But now we crawled all the way back up to 40,000, right? Dude, I really think we're just going for one of these. It's just going to be one of these, right? It's just going to be one of those. And I'm planning to actually take some profits here. Okay, um, I think it's just going to be one of those. Maybe not that, actually, maybe way higher than what I just drew, right? If we zoom out to the four hour, maybe we go like, um, you know, up to like 43,000 or even test this, that support that I have there. But I'm just hoping upwards, man. I'm always bullish or I'm like always wanting bullish uh, uh movements in the market right i am a crypto maxi that means that i want to see all of these coins on your screen succeed even shiba inu that i just showed you i want to see it succeed we have mina protocol spiking right here we have ar phantom a lot of the altcoins are up today um this is great right i was telling you yesterday that this was a buying opportunity if you would have bought anything you're already up you're already up we do see um, some DeFi 2.0 coins going crazy too. One inch, uh, where was the Convex Finance was here as well, right here. Uh, 
that did have a spike as you can see that's what i was talking about but i guess within within just this morning an hour we're back down to 17 dollars. that's insane so let's move on to this from crystalina right here the entire global economy will feel the economic ripple effects of the war in ukraine with slower growth and faster inflation the reverse of what we want to see the reason i'm putting this in here is to say that there is a physical part of this war and then there's an economic part of this war and even somebody with my limited knowledge of geopolitics uh, and and how this actually works even someone with my limited knowledge knows that there is an extremely economic part of this and obviously there's people dying in the physical part which is horrible right um, but the economic part is also horrible and she is saying that the the world will feel the ripple effects and that is definitely true and that situation is still going on right the fear has kind of eased up in terms of the crypto markets like it's kind of eased up but there's still uh still some of that we're definitely not in anywhere near the greed on the fear and greed index now let's talk about this hex trust raises this is not hex the coin please know that hex trust raises 88 million dollars for crypto custody focused on the gaming sector listen to the funding round the funding round was co-led by any mocha brands and liberty city uh, city ventures now who is any mocha brands any mocha brands is the ones who just partnered with board ape yacht club and it looks like they're coming out with some kind of metaverse or some kind of video game, right? Any Mocha Brands is the ones who made Sandbox, the Sandbox, right? Which we're going to talk about later into this video. But Hextrust raised $88 million. Now, who is Hextrust uh, connected to here? Well, Hextrust, Asia's leading digital asset custodian, announced earlier, uh, or sorry, in October 12 of 2021, they announced a partnership with Hedera. Okay, they have a partnership uh, with Hedera right here. They've also been appointed as a strategic strategic custodian of TOCO. Uh, Hex Trust has integrated the Hedera network and the Hedera token service standard into its Hex Safe. It's bank grade custody platform enabling support for HBAR, the Hedera's network, blah, blah, blah. So Hex Trust is linked up with Hedera right there. That is super amazing. Hopefully they're building some kind of crazy, um, or hopefully any Mocha brands is implementing Hex Trust, which is partnered with Hedera, right? Now I tweeted out here, make sure you're following my Twitter. I tweeted out video games and play to earn games built on Hedera are something I would absolutely play the hell out of, dude. I would play the hell out of these when they arrive, especially seeing that Ubisoft is sitting on Hedera's governing council. It's literally just game over for everyone else. Okay, and that is obviously true, right? February of this year, HBAR Foundation and Ubisoft partnered. That was a huge announcement. Um, this is massive, dude. This is massive. They got Ubisoft on their side. So right there, look what I've outlined. I've outlined a connection all the way from Board Ape Yacht Club and Annie Mocha Brands to HBAR, right? It's, it's there. There's the Hex Trust. These are what I call layered partnerships. And it's a net. It's a lattice work of, of partnerships. And basically, it's going to rise to the surface and like kill the current internet. Like the current internet is up here. This whole like partnership network and web of partnerships is going to just rise the tide and just usurp it. Okay. Let's look at this as well from Hedera. There's so much on Hedera today. Seeky is using NFTs to build a better streaming economy for artists. So we already covered this uh, either yesterday or a couple videos ago. And basically, this is a new streaming platform built on Hedera Hashgraph. Music streaming, right? This They got on Billboard. This is a Billboard article right here. Billboard.com. Massive article. Uh talking about Seeky. You guys can read through that. Here's the actual platform. Apparently, they're doing a $1.5 million giveaway, which is kind of insane. 
um, <clears throat> Seeky Beta sign up. You can sign up if you're an artist, right? Their partners include Polygon, Hedera, and then the HBAR Foundation as well. Very cool. I wonder if they're going to have a coin. That's all I care about is can I invest in this coin and make money, right? Or if I was an artist, which I'm not, I would care about can I release NFTs on this platform and will they do good, right? They've got things called NFT songs right here. Look. Oh, yeah. Seeky tokens. They do have a Seeky token. I don't know if they're like investable or they're just for the app. Uh, NFT song. So you guys can do some more research on that if you're interested. HBAR to 1000 is showing that Dogecoin might be migrating to Hedera or is someone trying to be funny? Hmm. So what we see here is the Dogecoin. There's a token um, in the last 24 hours called Dogecoin on HBAR, like on the Hedera network. It was made. Now, one thing I'll point out is below this, there's a coin called End the Fed. So how easy is it really to make a token here? If somebody's making a, like, clearly End the Fed is a joke token, right? So how easy is it to just make that and then stir up a rumor, especially with Elon Musk recently tweeting the H logo, right? He tweeted the H logo. Uh, this could be trying to further, like, further that rumor of some kind of connection between Elon and um <laughs> hbar so take that with a grain of salt but that would be cool if if dogecoin was freaking migrating to hbar oh my goodness the amount of noobs and just like normies right that that would bring from dogecoin over to hbar would be insane it would pump like crazy now moving on we've got some flare network stuff right here they have partnered with dweb foundation to build a sub-level domain naming system on flare are we going to get these dot, uh, dot FLRs, right? <laughs> Hopefully nobody scoops up crypto Mason dot FLR before I can get to it. And that's probably going to happen, but I'll just scoop up a different dot FLR. Now, the point I care about this or the, the thing I care about with this is they're actually using Handshake here. Okay, Handshake. <clears throat> Handshake will be integrating Flare's powerful smart contract uh, functionality and infrastructure to host a sub-level domain naming system. Okay, so there's a bunch of tech tech talk going on here, um, this type of, of domain stuff, but basically Handshake is the best, uh, the best in the game for this, and I think that this token is going to moon. It's 15 cents right now. You guys know I'm still holding some of my Handshake here. 2 billion max supply, basically trying to kill the monopoly on domains and, and domain naming, right? So I'm in two domain coins, okay? I'm in I'm in Handshake, and then I'm deep in the red on Ethereum name service. Like I'm talking, I bought this, <clears throat> I bought this at like sixty bucks. <clears throat> so I'm deep in the red on that, but I am just absolutely holding through it. I just I don't even look at my holdings with that. I lost way too much money, but you don't lose until you sell it. So have I sold it and actually took in a loss? No. Can this chart easily go back to 60 bucks? Yes. Can it easily go back to uh, 80 bucks? Yes. And I'm going to wait till it does. <clears throat> then I'm going to sell some at least. Ripple Partner and Wells Fargo uh, are collaborating on a Swift replacement. Now, people look at this as bullish, but I don't get it, dude. Let me show you. Ripple partner company, The Clearinghouse, is working with Wells Fargo to challenge the dominance of Swift with a new instantaneous payment system. Okay, they're not working with Ripple here, right? This is a Ripple partner company who has made a real-time payment service. Now, does it use Ripple? I don't think so. There's nowhere on here, right, that says it uses Ripple or it uses XRP. They just made their own. They just made their own with Wells Fargo. So they're not using Ripple here. They're just partnered, right? There's nothing. Show me where it says that this re RTP service that they've made, real-time payment service, as you can see right here. Uh, if we click this, real-time payment service, they got the rights reserved or whatever that symbol is, restricted or whatever, the R, uh, RTP. So they've like trademarked this basically, right? This is their thing. They made this. And it works. And the point of it, what was the point of it again? 
they made it uh oh yeah specifically designed for the digital on the go way we live and work today but they're not using ripple here so when somebody like this esoteric xrp says huge xrp news this isn't xrp news bro this is not xrp news like there's nothing about this that's ripple right very interesting stuff i don't know hsbc has entered the metaverse folks this is massive right here uh they've partnered with sandbox they're going to buy a virtual plot of land by the way hsbc has almost three trillion dollars in assets okay it is the first global bank to enter the metaverse uh, or the sandbox metaverse uh the bank will buy a plot of land at sandbox metaverse which it will develop in, in develop to engage with sports esports and gaming fans so they're targeting esports uh sports and gaming fans obviously sandbox is pumping uh, about 10 percent nine percent from this um it might not be from this it might i mean the whole a lot of altcoins are pumping right now um but that is all we've got for the daily market update i am just chilling sitting back in the market i've been playing in the nft market as you guys can see uh my journey on nft mason but i appreciate all of you make sure you follow on uh, twitter instagram join the telegram group i love every single one of you and goodbye Crow, Steve.